hello my dear students how are you i hope that you all of you are well and you are engaged in your study um, before starting my class i welcome all of you to my youtube channel and today i am going to discuss about the question which is included in the third chapter of class 10 mathematics the chapter is pair of linear equation into variable and the question number is 3 2 let us see that what is given in the question okay the larger of two supplementary angles exceeds the smaller by 18 degrees and find them now this question we have to solve by the substitution method okay now here two angles are given and two conditions also given from these two condition we have to make two linear equation and solve to find out the head of the vehicles okay and here one angle is larger and one angle is smaller okay and we have to find out the two angles and we will consider two variables for these two angles okay now uh, we start the solution here left the larger angle is x and the smaller angle is y okay now what is the first condition is given I don't need question here first condition is given that these two angles are supplementary that is supplementary means the sum of the angles should be equal to 180 okay and the angles are x and y so we write here x plus y equal to 180 okay and according to substitution method at first we find out the value of any one of the variable okay here we find out the value of x we take x okay then we shift the y term to the right hand side then we get 20 degree minus y and we give this equation as number 1 and now we make the second equation now what is the second condition is given the larger ang angle of the two subordinate angle is exceeds to the smaller by 18 degrees that means the 18 degree should be add to the smaller angle to get the larger angle okay according to the second equation second condition uh, what we get the larger is that means larger angle is here x and exceeds the small angle by 18 degrees then y plus 18 degrees okay and we give this equation as equation number 2 now we have to substitute the value of x to the equation 2 now substitute x equal to 20 degree minus y in equation 2 we get what we get let us see here x is in the equation x is equal to y plus 18 ok uh, if we put the value of x what we get that means degree minus y is equal to y plus 18 degree okay 
then we shift y to the left hand side and we shift one degree to the right hand side now here we have minus sign and also y here plus sign if we shift y in the right hand side, uh, left hand side then it will be minus and here one degree and if we shift one degree to the right hand side it will it will have one minus one degree okay then minus y and minus y both have the minus sign so we have to add this okay then after adding these two we get minus 2y here you see that 18 is 18 has plus sign and y t has minus sign okay these two term have opposite sign so we have to subtract after subtracting this that we get 1 uh, 2d okay then the larger term has the minus sign so it will be minus okay from both side minus sign will be cancel out then y equal to 162 by 2 because 2 is multiplied to y and we have to find out the value of y then we have to shift 2 to the right hand side then it will become divide after dividing this this 162 by 2 then we get y t 1 degree okay then we got the value of y is 181 degree now we have to put the value of y to the equation 2 after it being equal to 18 degree in 2 we get here uh, in equation 2 Okay, we can put the value of in 1 also and in 2 also okay then here if we substitute the value of y equal to 1 in 2 we get x equal to y means uh, what is the value of y 81 degree 1 plus 18 degree then what will be the value of x here we got the value of x is 99 degree and the value of y is 81 degree. x means the larger angle and y is the smaller angle okay therefore the uh, required angles are 99 degree and now we have got the values of x and y which are the equal to angle 99 degree and 81 degree now using the substitution method we have find out the value of two angles ok I thought In this process, we will find out the value of two angles. I think that all of you are understood the solution easily and you write it, write down it and practice it. And thank you for watching my video.